I cannot for my soul remember how, when, or even precisely where I first became acquainted with the Lady Ligia. Long years have since elapsed and my memory is feeble through much suffering. Words are impotent to convey the fierceness with which she wrestled the shadow. Man doth not yield to death utterly, save only through the weakness of his feeble will. She came and departed as a shadow. I was never made aware of her entrance to my closed study, save for the dear music of her low, sweet voice. In beauty of face, no maiden ever equaled her. Have you spoken to your current wife, Rowena, about these memories that haunt you so? She dreads the fierce moodiness of my temper. I am shunned in love but little. Your condition seems more dire than I had previously thought. Ah. Thank you, my dear. You're welcome. Thank you, Irana. You're excused. I loathe her with a hatred belonging more to demon than to man. Good God, man. I may have something that can ease your pain. I shall be grateful of anything you can offer me. Its medicinal properties are still somewhat of a mystery. However, it is said to provide a veil of comfort to those who smoke it. I cannot thank you enough. I shall return at some point in the forthcoming month to observe your progress. Take care, sir. My love. Do not speak to me, or even look upon my general direction, and do not, <laughs> do not use the word love in reference to me. It is not I to whom your affections belong. What madness is this of which you speak? The madness that you allow to live here. You wish was in my place. Say you know not what I speak, and you are a liar, damned to hell. I think you must rest, my love. I saw her whilst you dwelled under the veil of that drug. I saw a figure. Your mind is weary and not itself. She spoke of the city where you wedded her, along the banks of the Rhine. What was her name? Lyge. Rowena? Rowena, please. <laughs> 